This is going to be a quick video walkthrough of how to add Bitcoin JS Lib to your React Native project, specifically version 5.1.1 of Bitcoin JS Lib. So I'm currently in my uh, React Native project, so Bitcoin JS Lib testing. And to start things off, we're going to go ahead and add the Bitcoin JS library at version 5.1.1, along with React Native random bytes and buffer. So I'll go ahead and copy that in here. And while that's loading, I'll go ahead and grab the next line, which is adding React Native Notify to our project. Okay, so while that's going, next line uh, is going to go into our iOS directory, pod install and back out. Since we're uh, on React Native.60 or React Native.60 and higher, we're gonna wanna go ahead and make sure just to uh, pod install and link any dependencies that are needed. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and open up our editor here. I'll navigate to package.json. And what we're going to do is add post install to our scripts here. So once this post install is added, I'm gonna navigate back to the terminal and make sure to yarn install. And this is going to do a number of things. Uh, specifically, we're looking for the shim.js file that this will generate. So this is gonna take a little bit of time, uh, but once it's done, you'll see the shim.js file appear here. Uh, and once that's generated, we'll navigate into that and uncomment the required crypto line. So we'll wait for this to finish installing. Okay, so I'll navigate back to the editor. You'll see the shim.js file appeared. We'll go to the bottom of that file and you'll see that require crypto is currently commented out. You wanna make sure to remove that and expose it. We'll navigate back to our terminal and yarn install one more time. This will be our final step. So while this is happening in the background, I'm going to navigate back to the gist and to ensure that everything is working as expected, I'll copy this block of code here, navigate back to my editor, go to app.js, and I'll just paste it right here. Now, instead of uh, logging this out, I'm just gonna go ahead and alert it. So when we run it in the simulator, we can just see it appear. Okay, looks like that's finished. I'm gonna go ahead and Yarn start. And run iOS here. And this is gonna take some time. Uh, once it's finished building, however, we should see the address appear in our simulator. Once we see that address appear, we know everything is set up properly. Okay, great. You'll see the address uh, appeared in the alert there. We know we're good to go.